And the coronavirus is also affecting people in a lot of ways. And for high school graduates around the country, their ceremonies aren't exactly going as they dream. But we are doing our best to make sure they're still getting the recognition they deserve. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker introduces you to an outstanding graduate from Hancock Central High School. Yes, for Jonathan Austin, life has been an uphill battle. He says his graduation feels like the first major victory of many he plans on accomplishing in the future. It was, it was normal at a point until probably my third or fourth year of elementary is when my illness really started to kind of kick in. Doctors diagnosed Austin with dermatomyositis, an inflammatory disease that causes muscle weakness around his joints and makes it hard to do physical activity. It was a bit of a struggle because you got to realize I wasn't like everybody else. It was something new. I just wanted to be normal. I thought I was just, I wasn't special at all. It just wasn't fun. He had to do a lot of physical therapy, sometimes even at school. He says classmates made him feel like an outcast since he was different. He started building confidence when he joined JROTC in high school. In ninth grade, that's when you kind of have to prove yourself to rank up. So I would participate in everything. I would be on the drill team. I would be on the saber team, the color guard. I would even go to the camps that they had over the summer. He worked his way up to battalion commander by his senior year. With the support of his instructor, teachers, and his mother, he's changed his mindset and is ready to take on the future. It gave me more motivation and be able to believe in myself that it's okay to be different as long as you keep pushing forward. Austin missed a few days of school this year from being in the hospital, but he still managed to stay on track and graduate. He plans on attending Augusta University to major in biology. Congratulations to Jonathan Austin from Hancock Central High School. Reporting from home, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. And again, a congratulations from all of us here at 13 WMAZ. Jonathan, I just know your future is bright. Unfortunately, there is no cure for Jonathan's disease, but he has made a lot of progress since his diagnosis. He travels to Augusta every month to get a shot for his treatment, but it looks like next fall he won't have to travel very far.